Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here from On Track Tuts, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between volume automation and clip-based editing in Studio One and why I prefer one of them. So let me show you what I mean. Over here, I've got an audio part. So this is a vocal part, and if I hit A to show my automation, you can see the automation that I've drawn in there on that lane for that track. So for example, if this is moving through and you look at the volume fader over here, Got that volume fader riding up. Now what I don't like about this is when you look at the waveform you're not getting actual feedback on what's changing. I have to flip over to that automation view to see what's happening and if I don't have it open I might not see that there's some automation on there. So what I like doing is using clip-based editing. So let me show you how this is done. So what I'm going to do is just turn off that automation. So if I go into the automation I'm just going to bypass that so that it's not viewing the automation. So if I play back, I'm not getting that rising in level. Now what I like doing is going into the audio, taking a look at the waveform. For example, I can see that these parts are a bit softer. So I can hit three to go to my split tool, create some splits in the audio part, and then on your part over here, you've got this clip-based editor where you can adjust the volume. So looking at this audio over here, I can raise this up so that it looks like I've got sort of the same volume level. Maybe I want these to be louder. And then maybe I go over here and I find that this part, I don't want louder. So I could take that and drag there. So I've got a lot of flexibility to go into different parts and do some gain editing to it. So I can just go over here, bring that back, pull that down. And what helps is to turn off snapping so that you've got much finer control of those edits. And I can go in here and maybe that little part of there, I just wanna go in and just raise that ever so slightly. This part over here, maybe I feel that that is too soft. I can go here, drop that down. There is a bit of a spark over there. So I can zoom in much closer, grab that spark and drop that down. And likewise, go through all the other parts. So maybe over here as well, you see there's a spark here. Now I know I'm doing this by not playing back, but I'm just showing you how quick and easy it is to go in and do these edits to it. And then obviously I can zoom out, go back, have my part soloed and play it back and listen and hear if things need to jump up or jump down. Sell me on your Pull that up. I feel you know more than you are willing to say. Take that last bit, check it out. So as you can see, it's very quick and easy to work with clip-based editing and you're getting that feedback by adjusting here and getting that sort of visual feedback on what's happening with the waveform. And if I close this song and come back at a later stage, I can clearly see where I've made some splices and where I've done some edits with the gain editing. So that's the difference between volume automation and clip-based editing in Studio One and why I prefer clip-based editing. I like that feedback that you're getting from the waveform. For example, you make a splice and then you increase the level on that waveform and you can see the increase in level. So try it out. Go into one of your songs and instead of using automation, go in and use the clip and use clip-based editing to change the volume levels of that audio. Also, if you want to know more about Studio One, I've got a full masterclass on it. I've called it the Ultimate Studio One Masterclass, where there's 12 hours of content covering nearly everything that you need to know in Studio One. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can head over and check that course. I hope to see you in there. So if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new or if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. I'll catch you in the next one.